Hey, 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 happy Tuesday night. For the longest time, I thought it was Wednesday, but glad to be here. Sorry that I'm on here a little later, but you guys seem to like it when I'm here later. So I wanted to let you guys know I am streaming from YouTube. Also, I am <laughs> streaming from also Instagram. And so join us on YouTube if you're a man or if you have a man in your life, check out YouTube. And we recently hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There is a good women's section too. There's a 30-day free course on regulating a cycle and a lot of good stuff on YouTube. So do check out YouTube, especially if you're a man or have a man in your life. And then also Instagram. We got hacked on Insta last year. Security is really tight. There's a lot of really good women's health and men's health on Instagram. Instagram. So do check out Insta. And then my favorite is, of course, TikTok. I shouldn't say I like YouTube and Instagram too. So love that you guys are here. And just know that all our monetization money, I'm putting it towards funding a free clinic in the Washington, D.C. area and also in India. Also, if you want to see one of my free clinics, you can go to YouTube under TV appearances and you'll see it there. All right. And also, as soon as they let me publish... <laughs> I'm gonna release two courses on TikTok. One is on fertility, one is on weight loss. All the proceeds go towards that free clinic. All right, enough of me chatting and doing. Let's do acupressure. Let's do 20 minutes of really good acupressure. You guys are gonna feel amazing. So first point we're going to start off with is super simple, but you'll like it. So we're gonna do it for a minute. I've got my timer and let's do it. From yin tong to basically, oh goodness, um, on the temple all the way down the jaw all the way up we have a follower on youtube her husband died last night so pam i am going to take extra care of you today and i want you to follow along with me everybody let's do this for really good emotional well-being it'll also help you with whatever emotion you may be experiencing also help you with heart health and it'll also help you just to help in the grieving process and sleep better. So let's um, do this for Pam on YouTube. Really good emotional well-being treatment. So first that we're gonna do, I was gonna start off with something, but let's go ahead and do something a little different. So first we're gonna start with yin tan. Everybody do yin tan. This is a great acupressure point for all types of emotion. This is a acupressure point that can help you with anxiety, with sadness, with grief, anger, frustration. This is a go-to. This can also help you to sleep. The reason why it balances out with emotion is because the pituitary gland is right here. And so this can help you to balance out emotion. It can also help you to balance out hormone, thyroid, estrogen, progesterone, FSH, LA. Gentlemen, I haven't forgotten about you. Also, it helps with testosterone. This is a great acupressure point that you can do. So I want you to consider doing this acupressure point with whatever emotion you may be experiencing. Also, if you have PCOS or if you have weight loss or you have menopause or you have thyroid issues, this is a great point. Oftentimes, emotions are linked to hormone. So if I can help balance out not only hormone but emotion, this can help you so much so do consider that pam are you doing this darling i hope you are doing this please join us and do this next acupressure point that i want to do is i want to actually massage the chin everybody let's massage the chin just like this remember acupressure acupuncture is based on reflexology the whole body is mirror image like this and the whole body is also mirror image like this so this can actually circulate the blood flow all throughout the body you don't have to put much pressure at all. So please do as light or as much pressure. And thank you, Butterfly, for sending Pam some love and prayers. Everybody, let's do this. Um, let's do this for Pam, but let's also do this for our own emotional well-being. Also, if you guys have been with me, you also know that my mom's been in the hospital. She has been in the hospital for the past month, and she's being released um, to skilled nursing facilities facility tomorrow we got finally the authorization so thank you so much for all your prayers so thank you thank you thank you and she is feeling better because she's yelling at me which is great i hope we can bring her home from the skilled nursing facility but one thing at a time 
So again, this is a great way to circulate the blood throughout the entire body. This can help you to stay grounded. This can help you to stay calm. And this can also help you to bring serotonin into the gut where most of serotonin is. Serotonin is your happy chemical. And if it can circulate throughout the body, then it can help to relax you. Here's another point. Next point you guys are familiar with already, and we do quite a bit, a bit about it. Um, you can do this for blood sugar, and I'll try to cover some more points, but two more points for Pam, and then we'll go back to what we were doing, no problem. Next point that I want everybody to do is the rim of the ear. So let's go ahead and do the rim of the ear. Pam, I hope you're doing these acupressure points. This can help with grounding you. This point is so good for anxiety, for blood circulation throughout the entire body. Remember again, the man or the woman is mirror image like this and is also mirror image like this. So I want you to consider doing this when you're feeling angry, when you're grief stricken, when you feel like you need to be grounded, when you're anxious or panicky, this is also a really good acupressure point to help balance out not only the emotion, but also bring circulation. If you have circulation in the body, you can feel better. So this is another great acupressure point for not only anxiety, anger, frustration, sadness, fear, grief, but it also can promote blood circulation throughout the entire body and can help ground you. So please consider doing this as well for just emotional well-being. And if we can take care of emotions and feelings and hormones, you will for sure sleep a lot better. So this is a great acupressure point. Next one, we cannot, we cannot not do it. And this is Yer Shen Men. So on YouTube, let me show it to you. It's in the cave in the ear. On Instagram, let me show it to you. It's in the cave in the ear. On TikTok, let me show it to you. Cave in the ear. So let's go ahead and do this point. You guys know this. Fourth link in the bio has all the devices I use. If you care to, they're all, I did it from Amazon, so it's easy for you to work with them. So you put the side with the pellet. You see the pellet the side with the pellet, you put that side on the pellet, on the side in the ear, and then you can just leave it in. This has worked so well for me for my own emotions, you know, and also for well-being. So if you have the ear seed in here, these are ear seeds. If you have the ear seed, then you don't have to apply the pressure. But if you don't, we got our fancy red pencil and fancy lipstick. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to do this for 30 seconds. A lot of people are asking, does the circular motion, which way does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. I have not seen a therapeutic difference. And also, I don't know if you guys know, I don't ever tell my bio anymore because I feel like I've been on here for a long time. But I've been doing acupressure, acupuncture almost 25 years. It's getting up there. And then on top of that, I have treated over 100,000 patients. I am considered an expert in the field, ran a free clinic overseas. I had a chain of clinics on the West Coast. I'm back home in the Washington, D.C. area. This is where I grew up. My dad worked at the Pentagon a long time. I've been an expert witness in court trials. I've treated NFL players, U.S. Olympians. So you guys get it. I, I clearly. And we have some books that we are working on, which we are releasing. First, the courses, as soon as they let me release on TikTok, then the books. So if you're just joining us, we did a four-point acupressure protocol for emotional well-being. One of our followers on YouTube, her husband passed away last night. So we are doing Ear Shen Men. And we hope she is doing it with us so that she can get a little bit of comfort. And hopefully, if she can get a little bit of comfort, hopefully she can sleep a little bit tonight. And hopefully, you know, just part of the healing process and grieving process, you know, be a little bit better. So that was really good. I think we did it over a minute. I lost track of time, but all good. Four points, you guys, if you're feeling angry or sad, emotion, frustration, fearful, grief. First point we did is yin tong, then we did the chin, then we did the rim of the ear, and then we ended with ear shen men. And you can put the ear seeds anywhere on the model. And if you do the ear seeds, then you don't need to do the acupressure. 
Okay, fantastic. All right, then why don't we do this? Pam, I hope, um, Pam, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, you know, God bless you. My, our thoughts and prayers are with you. God bless you. All right, you guys, let's do a little bit um, for weight loss. Let's, why don't we um, go uh, and do weight loss, then we'll do fertility. And then we'll also do aches and pains. And then we'll do, we'll also do sleep. And then, um, so lots of good acupressure, almost like 15, 20 minutes. So hang with me if you can, you'll sleep really hard tonight. And then I will, if I see a question that I can answer quickly, I will. And we have this thing called the subscriber. It's the yellow star, it's the lower corner on left corner on on TikTok. If you want your question answered just like that, then you can become a subscriber and I'll stop the live and answer your question. And then it's the super on YouTube. So do consider that. So thank you. Yes. And my mom, I'll answer this really quickly and then we'll go ahead and step into it. My mom is doing better. She's been in the hospital for about a month. She had a blood infection. It is clear. It is pretty much cleared up and she's being transferred to a skilled nursing facility tomorrow. And our feeling is she'll probably be there for a month. And then we have to decide from there if she can go into assisted living. But she is doing better. But I, I can tell you that in the past uh, six months, I've seen her decline. So we're just trying to do best for her and also long term. But she is better. And thank you for all your prayers. And sorry if I haven't been on the lives as consistently doing my best and it just means so much that you guys are praying and asking about her so god bless you and thank you all right let's do this let's start with some what we're going to do is we're going to do overall wellness point so let's go ahead and start yin tong and then we're going to go to the temple we're going to go along the jawline and then we're going to go back up everybody do this with me for the next minute this is a great acupressure point for many different reasons this can help you with all sorts of emotions as we just did. It can help you with anxiety. It can help you with fear. It can help you with anger, panic, grief, worry. It can also, great point for sinusitis, nasal congestion. I saw that question come through. This can also help you with snoring. It can also, gentlemen, this is a great point for you to help you clear out those nasal passageways so that you get more nitric oxide so it can help you with ED and PE issues. This is also a great point for blood pressure. Don't forget, this is a great point for blood pressure. This can also help in growing a beard because it relaxes you and it also brings blood flow to the jaw right there. It can also help you with TMJ. And also don't forget, ladies, this point right here represents the uterus. Gentlemen, this point right here represents the root of the genitalia. So this can help you to regulate a cycle. You can do it till you get three regular cycles or till you become pregnant or till you do an embryo transfer with your doctor or till you get IUI. Gentlemen, this point is good for you for ED and PE issues because guess what? This point can help you breathe better with nitric oxide, which is gonna help you to last longer. Really good point. And I think we did that over a minute, but all good, doesn't matter. It's all about getting it done. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some ear acupressure points. So everything in the pin we are going to do, so showing it on TikTok, showing it on Instagram, and showing it on YouTube. And so we're gonna go ahead and do it also rim of the ear, but different reasons. We're gonna do rim of the ear, we're gonna go in the cave, we're gonna do the half circle, and we're gonna do the appetite suppression point. So let's go ahead and do each for a minute. So don't worry about time. When you do these at home, try to do it for three minutes. But with me, we're doing a lot of acupressure and whatever your situation is, do it with me. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna sleep hard tonight. And that's what I want for you. So let's massage the rim of the ear. This is a great point for frustration, anger, and anxiety. If you are trying to quit smoking or vaping, this can help you take the edge off. If you are struggling with weight loss and blood pressure, this can help, of course, work with your medical doctor. You can also drink cinnamon tea. This can also help you stay grounded. And also, how does it work for weight loss? Well, it's going to help you to feel better. If you feel better, guess what? You're not going to want that chocolate, not going to want that pizza, not going to want that pasta. So this helps release the happy chemicals, and that's where it's going to take away your cravings, and you're going to feel better, and you're going to sleep better. 
which is going to help you on your weight loss journey. All right, next point we're gonna do, we did it, but we're gonna do it again. Ear Shen Men, this is in the cave right here. This is in the cave, and then this is also in the cave. So let's go ahead and do both sides. You can use the ear seeds, and if you do the ear seeds, you take the side of the pellet, put it in the cave. And then also, if you do the pellet, and then you don't have to do the acupressure, you can use a pencil, a, ping, a finger, or a Q-tip. And then let's go in the cave and let's acupress. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, hey, Sabri. Did you have any questions? Sabri is one of our subscribers. So let us know, Sabri, if you have a question, I will do my best to answer it. And I'll do my best to take other questions at the, at the end. Um, also, puffy eyes, you can go ahead and do the circle around the eyes. And you can also get like a cold compress and apply it at nighttime to your eyes. Yes, you can do all of this. Let's see, is it Rosa? Rosa, you can do all of these points for anxiety and depression. The ear points are fantastic for anxiety, depression. You wanna know why? The ears are full of dopamine. They're full of endorphins, serotonin, opioids. So those happy chemicals, if they're in your system, they are going to help you with anxiety and also sadness. So definitely put down your phone and do these points with me, Rosa. Come on, girl, you can do this with me. All right. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna take Sabri, Sabri's question. I hope I'm saying your name right. So puffy and dark eyes uh, under the eyes, like right here. So this is what I would say for, uh, let me think through. So one thing that you can do is you can do this acupressure point. This can help three minutes, especially at nighttime, can say, oh, cool that I'm saying your name right. That's cool, that's cool. So you can you can do this for three minutes at nighttime. Also, just like I said to the other follower, what you can do is take a spoon and then after you do the acupressure, you can apply the cold compress over your eyes. And then also for dark circles, you know what, what I would say is you can get an, a caffeine cream, like Ink makes one at Sephora that's really good, and you can put it underneath the eyes. The other thing is that for dark circles, if I remember right from what I read, it can be a vitamin K, iron, or AE and B deficiency. So you can also, also you can go to your medical doctor and just uh, get checked out and see if you have one of those deficiencies and you can either have him or her subscribe something to you or you can you know ask him what is over the counter that's really good so do consider that so again you can do this then a cold compress and then you can also get a caffeine cream put it underneath the eye you can do it in that order and then work with your doctor and confirming whether you have an iron i believe it's k a e yeah k k a e and b deficiencies but you just and it could be hereditary so do check that out okay fantastic so somebody asked about heart health um i don't know specifically what's going on for him or her yes that's very good danny very very good kidneys can also relate to dark circles really good danny um, yes, absolutely. So be sure to get your rest and you can also massage the rim of the ear because in Chinese medicine, the kidney is represented by the ears. Okay, fantastic. And then, um, <laughs> all right, I'll answer this question and then let's stay focused. And then unless you're a subscriber, we will save the questions till the end. So for, okay, all the subscribers are coming on. Okay, fantastic. Um, for sinusitis, you can do this, darling. In the shower, do it in the shower to clear out the nasal passageways and the mucus. Do this for three minutes in the shower. And then for back and neck pain, Doreen, I don't remember that you're pregnant. Can you tell me if you're pregnant? Doreen, just let me know if you're pregnant because I'll give you a point depending on whether or not you're pregnant. So Doreen, if you are, I'll, I'll, okay, cool. Um, the person asking about the heart health, we'll come back to it in a second. Let me take care of the subscriber. So Doreen, um, what you can do for back pain and neck pain is the following. This is a great point for neck pain. So you can do this for three minutes, take a little break, whether it's 20 minutes or an hour or two, and then keep doing this at three minute increments throughout the day. And then after you do this one, you can rotate the neck and that should help relax. And then for back pain, I'll, 
I like this point and I like this point. So that can help you. That can definitely help you. So do consider this point for the neck pain and then this point and this point for the back pain. So you can even go one, two, and three and then do it in three minute increments throughout the day and that will help. And then also, as long as you're not pregnant, you can do this for tummy pain, but do work with your medical doctor. All right, let's go back to um, the weight loss. And then do try to save your questions. If you want your question immediately answered, do consider the subscription. All the money that I raised answering the questions go towards that free clinic. So let's do the half circle. So this half circle right here is great. So let's, it's gonna cover kidney, liver, and endocrine. Kidney, liver, and endocrine. So let's all do this together. For this, I like to use my device. Oh, I dropped my foot. <laughs> so this is the device. So let's go ahead and, oh, this feels so good. So the person asking about the heart health, you, the heart point is like right here on the ear. So you can just do this point because the points are actually very fine. You will more than cover it with your finger. So let's do this for the next, uh, let's see, we're gonna do this 30 seconds on each ear, so each ear. So this is a great acupressure point to help you with hormone balance, whether you're struggling with PCOS and trying to lose weight or if you're struggling with fertility and you're trying to lose weight, fertility can be impacted by weight loss. Absolutely. Even a little bit of weight loss can astronomically help with fertility. That's what I've seen in my clinic. Also too, this can be good if you are just had a baby and you're trying to lose weight. This can also be good if you are a gentleman and you're struggling with testosterone and weight loss to help you with ED matters. This somebody just did ask, what about blood sugar? This is also a great point for blood sugar because this area right here not only gets kidney and liver, but it also heart is right here and then the stomach and spleen is also right here. So this half circle, is so good for helping balance out weight loss, PCOS, menopause, diabetes, thyroid, gentlemen struggling with testosterone. So again, consider the half circle on both ears. And we did it each for 30 seconds. When you do the points on your own, do them for a couple of minutes. So this is the half circle. All right, fantastic. So I think I got to some of the questions. Again, if you want your question absolutely answered, do consider the yellow star on the lower left-hand corner. It is the subscription and the super on YouTube. I will stop the live and answer the questions for the subscribers and the supers. And at the very end, I definitely hang out and answer questions. And also, if I can and I catch a question, I will do my best to answer it. We just covered heart health. You can do the half circle, Lily. We can. We just covered it. You can do the half circle, dear. Okay, fantastic. Let's do cravings. So let's go ahead and do cravings. So everybody take the peace sign. Everybody take the peace sign. I take the fingers and acupress like this. This is a great acupressure point if you are struggling with cravings. This could be cravings for a sugar fix or chocolate. This could be cravings for carbs like pasta and pizza or cravings for salt. People get salt cravings or this can be cravings because you're trying to quit smoking. So whenever you're trying to help yourself with cutting off cravings or you're trying to manage your hunger because you're doing intermittent fasting and you're eating between noon and five or noon and eight or whatever your window may be, yes, you can do this to try to avoid Coke. So this is a great acupressure point. What you wanna do, again, is take the peace sign, cuff the ear, and acupress for three minutes of, at a time till the hunger or the craving for whatever you may be experiencing, whether it's cigarette or chocolate or Coke, you goes away. So this is a great acupressure point, really good acupressure point. All right, um, for poor blood circulation, you can just consider massaging the fingers. All right, sounds good. So let's do this. Let's do two more points for metabolism and then we'll also do fertility and we'll do a bunch of acupressure. Hang tight for digestive. Actually, you can do the next two points for digestive, dear. So next point we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the eyebrow to the ear and let's go ahead. Oh, feels so good. I love this point. Why don't I do this point more often? This is a great point. 
I just want to turn this off and go to sleep after doing this point. This is a great acupressure point for helping you with the headache. Everybody put your phones down and do these points. You're going to feel so much better. This is a great point for headaches. This is a great point for migraines. This is a great point for fatigue, lack of sleep, ad adrenal fatigue. This is a great point for helping you with digestion because guess what? If you sleep better and your jaw is more relaxed by doing this point, you're going to metabolize better. And also when you sleep better, guess what? You're going to defecate and metabolize even better. So this is a great acupressure point for helping you. Oh, it feels amazing. This is a great acupressure point to help you to relax, take away the tension, take away the headache, take away the migraine, help you to sleep, help you with fatigue, and which can help you with weight loss because it relaxes the jaw, which helps you to metabolize your foods better, which is in turn going to help you to lose weight along with helping you to sleep, which if you sleep better, you actually lose more weight. So there you go. Really, really good. Really, really good. We'll cover back aches in a second. Um, what is dopamine? Dopamine is your happy chemical. So we want to help relax you by putting that dopamine in your body versus you wanting to crave something because of the dopamine. I hope that makes sense. Really, really good. Next point we're going to do is right here. Let's do this acupressure point. The only time I don't want you to do this acupressure point is if you are pregnant. This is a great acupressure point to help you with so many good things. Just don't do this if you're pregnant. This can help you with digestive issues. It can help you with gas. Somebody asked about gas earlier. This can help you with bloating. This can help you with circulation to the legs. Somebody asked. This is also a great point, not only for gas and bloating, but this is also a great point for metabolism. It's going to help you clean out your colon. It's going to help you detox. It's going to help you to get rid of that defecation and that gas and that irritation in your colon. And when you are rid of that toxic in your stomach, then it's going to be able to metabolize more readily and easily, which is going to help you on your weight loss journey. So this is a great acupressure point for weight loss because it helps balances out the gut. It also can help you with heartburn, nausea, gut, acid reflux, and so forth. So because it balances out the entire gut, it can also help you with hemorrhoids. This can help you to help balance everything out so you can metabolize your foods better. Just don't want you to do this acupressure point if you are pregnant. Really, really good questions, you guys. So uh, do your best. I will do my best to get you <laughs> get the answers to your questions at the end. If you are a subscriber, I will absolutely stop the live and answer your questions. So let's do two for fertility. So if you are struggling with ovulation, which is quite common, we want to acupress the eyes. The other thing that you can do to help your chances of ovulation is pumpkin seeds. Seeds in Chinese medicine represent germinating, so they can help you to ovulate. So do consider doing pumpkin seeds as a handful of pumpkin seeds a day. Try not to try to eat them raw. Also, it can help with men and female fertility. Also, this acupressure point is fantastic, not only for ovulation, but if you're going through menopause, this is also a great acupressure point because it accesses the estrogen in the body. This can help balance out thyroid, estrogen, progesterone, FSH, LH. Also, it can help you to sleep better. And in Chinese medicine, this area right here can help you with the ovaries. In Chinese medicine, this area right here can help you with the testicles. So if you are trying to conceive, this is a great acupressure point. You can also do this acupressure point if you're going through IUI or IVF treatment. This can also help the doctor balance things out and help work with acupressure in your favor. We just got a new subscriber. Thank you so much. And all the subscription money, all the questions, all the donations, they go towards the Free clinic. So thank you. Zen Kitty, let us know if you have a specific question. Zen Kitty, you, let us know if you have a specific question. Also for regular periods, good, good timing lady. This is a great acupressure point that you can do. And this right here can help you because you have the mirror image just like this and you have the mirror image just like this. So what you can do 
is that this is a great acupressure point that you can do till you regulate your cycle. Remember the points when you do them, not on the lives. I want you to do them for three minutes at a time. So do consider minimum, you can do it longer and I want you to do it longer. Minimum, I want you to do it three minutes in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. This is a great point to help you not only with gut health, but also can help you regulate a cycle. Do it till you get three regular cycles. You can also do it for period cramps or endometriosis or fibroids. Do work with your doctor, obviously. This is also a great acupressure point that you can do to build up the uterine lining till you have that embryo transfer or till you get that IUI. IUI, fantastic. Okay, so really quick, um, I wanted to just tell you guys I'm streaming in from YouTube. I'm also streaming in from Instagram. If you have a man or there is a man in your life, I want you to consider doing YouTube. And I want to just tell you, th thank you so much because of all your support. We hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you, thank you. And also we have a viral video on YouTube for us. I mean, we have millions of views on on TikTok, but on YouTube, we have a video that's hitting 50,000 views. So thank you, thank you. And also all the money that I make on YouTube or any single time you subscribe or I answer a question, you give a donation, it goes towards that free clinic in Washington, DC. I am fundraising. We need a couple hundred thousand dollars to get that rolling. So that's also why as soon as TikTok allows me, we have two courses coming out one on weight loss and one on fertility. They are professionally done and all the proceeds of that, when you buy from that course, not only do you get the benefit, but it goes towards that free clinic. So fantastic, fantastic. So really good. I um, don't know much about Anna's Wild DM and then Bell's Palsy. Do you see an acupuncturist in town? It's better that you go get an acupuncturist in town and then you can do points on the both ears and Diriculitis, we're going to do in a second, darling. Blood pressure, you can acupress the chin. Don't forget to do the points for three minutes at a time. Okay, a lot of the questions are going to be answered just in the next like four minutes. So everybody, we are <laughs> we are going to do a lot of acupressure. And then uh, uh, let's see, um, somebody keeps asking about cirrhosis. I can't answer that question because I don't know your symptoms, darling. So I need to do an intake and it's hard to do that during a live. So, oh, cool, Grace, nice to meet you. So I'm sorry, I won't be able to answer the question on cirrhosis. Constipation, we will do in a second. All right, everybody, let's go ahead. Everybody put your phones down. We're gonna do four minutes of solid acupressure. You're gonna feel good. We're gonna cover stuff you know. Everybody put your phones down. You're gonna feel really good after this. We're gonna do four minutes of acupressure. You're gonna sleep hard and we're gonna do this. The only restriction that I have is you don't do these points if you're pregnant. So please don't do these points if you're pregnant. And whatever you're feeling, do these points as long as you're not pregnant because remember the mirror image goes like this 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 and like this and also covers the foot so we're going to get to so many different ailments so put down your phones and as long as you're not pregnant let's do these four acupressure points and you're going to feel good you're going to feel good i've done this enough that you're going to feel good all right ready all right, this is a great point for all over body pain. Somebody was asking about neuropathy. This is also a really good point for neuropathy. This is a good point for helping you with eye strain or eye pain. Do work with your doctor. This is also a good point for neck pain and shoulder pain, headaches and migraines. Somebody was asking about hip and back pain. This is a great point. This is also a great point for sciatica. This is also a great point for leg pain. This can also help regulate a cycle. Gentlemen, I have never forget about you. This is a good acupressure point for PE and ED type issues. This is also a great point for struggling with chronic pain or fibromyalgia. If you, yes, fibromyalgia, put down your phone and do these points. <laughs> this is a great point if you also have an autoimmune disease and you're not quite sure where to start. This is also a great point for heel pain or for foot pain. Yes, really good. So next point that we're going to do is um, we're going to do the viral point. But before I do that, let me answer this question really quickly. Can, can we come see you? So here's the short answer. 
I have a clinic. It's the last link in the bio. So you're more than welcome to go. There's a huge team that works there. I've trained the majority of people. They're really good and very meticulous. So please use the last link in the bio. I am working on an idea to bring acupressure, acupuncture across the country. And so I need the second half of the year to do that. And then also um, when I have the free clinic, you absolutely, anybody who flies down, to Washington DC or drives down or takes the train, however you come here, I will treat you absolutely. So until I can raise the money to do that, because uh, I still have to pay my mortgage and everything, and I have a job to take care of that, but uh, you absolutely, absolutely can come see me when I have the free clinic, absolutely. All right, fantastic. Let's do this. Don't do this point if you're pregnant, but this is a great point for stuffy nose. This is a great point for toothache. This is a great acupressure point for back of the head headaches. And how I'm doing it is I'm putting the fists together. So I hope you can see on YouTube. I'm showing you on Instagram. I'm showing you on TikTok. So this is a great point to help you with back of the head headaches, for neck pain, for shoulder pain, for spinal pain, for paraspinal pain, for back pain. This can also help you with with L2, L3, L4, L5, S1 discomfort. For pain down the back of the legs, this is a great point. For back of the knee pain, this is a great point. For sciatic pain, this is a great point. For coccyx pain, SI joint pain, for tailbone pain, tailbone pain, for hip pain, for medial foot pain, this is also a great point for toothache, sinusitis, snoring. This can help you with tummy trouble, but do see your doctor. Can help you with sinusitis, but do work with your dentist. This is can also help with bleeding gums, but do work with your doctor too. This can also help you with constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating, and diverticulitis, and Crohn's disease, and hemorrhoids. Also, this can help you with nausea. Don't do it if you're pregnant. This can help you with heartburn, gas, bloating. It can help you with GERD, acid reflux, and also ladies, this can help regulate a cycle till you get three regular cycles. And then also you can do this up until you do IUI or IVF. Gentlemen, this is a great point for you for ED and PE type issues because it's gonna bring blood flow to the eggplant and the root of the genitalia. And you can't do the points on the hand because they can cause unwanted contractions. And that's why, and I need to say that because I'm not giving you an explanation, but that is the explanation. All right, next acupressure point. Again, you can't do this if you're pregnant because it can cause unwanted contractions. This is fist on top of fist. This is a great point for helping with neck pain, shoulder pain, for helping with side of the head headaches, can help you with dizziness. Somebody was asking a lot about dizziness can help you with inner ear dizziness, can help you with ringing in the ear. No one asked about ringing in the ear tonight. Usually I get a ton of questions on that. This can also help you with side of the head headaches. This can help you with side of the back pain. This is a great hip point. This can also help you with foot pain. This can also help you if you wake up all swollen and puffy. This is a great acupressure point if you are struggling with blood sugar, Instagram, or if you are struggling with blood pressure, do drink cinnamon tea and do, of course, work with your medical doctor. Really, really good point. You can also do this for knee pain. Yes, yes, yes. So next, we're, what we're going to do is that um, we are going to do another acupressure point. And if you miss this, you can go to YouTube under the lives and check out the lives. They're there. You can also go to Instagram and check out the full lives. I'm not quite sure how you do it on TikTok, but I know on Instagram and on YouTube, they are absolutely there. And YouTube, they're underneath the live section. And then this is and great again you can't do these points if you're pregnant this is a great acupressure point for doing for back of the head headaches this is a great acupressure point for doing for neck pain for helping with also shoulder pain this is a great acupressure point for shoulder blade pain for also spine pain for paraspinal pain for low back pain l2 l3 l4 l5 s1 discomfort for sciatica pain for coccyx pain for tailbone pain for si joint pain for hip pain for pain down the back of the legs for pain in the back of the knee this can also help you plantar fasciitis i'll cover in a second darling this is a great acupressure point for lateral foot pain this is also good for stuffy nose for sinusitis for snoring this is also a great metabolism point because it's going to help you to absorb your foods this is also a great point for gas bloating and constipation i like this point for diarrhea this is also a great point for constipation so diarrhea here constipation here, period pain here, and do consider cinnamon tea, cinnamon tea. 
For swollen fingers, swollen hand and wrist, you might want to soak your hand in Epsom salt. So do consider Epsom salts for swollen fingers and swollen hand. And then also for plantar fasciitis, it's a really good point. What you can do for plantar fasciitis is you can you can go ahead and and do this acupressure point. And then what you can do is after you do that for a few minutes, you'll want to, where's my foot? You want to take a hard surface ball and roll out the foot, roll out the foot, and that can help. And then um, I will cover cough in a second. Hemorrhoids, you can do this acupressure point. Remember, you can't do the hand points if you're pregnant. And somebody asked also, um, what do they do if they're pregnant? You know, my best advice if you're pregnant is really go see an acupuncturist near you because once you do an intake, then we can decide what specifically we can do or we can't do. I don't know your case. And so I got to keep you safe. And so I'll always say, don't do this because I don't know your case. So if you're pregnant and you're suffering, which I can completely understand, please, I want to take care of you too, is that do consider an acupuncturist near you. Okay, fantastic. So really good. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to answer that hypothyroid and then I'm also going to do cough and we're going to do sleep and then I'll open it up for questions and subscribers get top priority. Okay, fantastic. So I already forgot <laughs> the question uh, for hypothyroid. Okay, for hypothyroid, this is what I would do. Morning, three minutes. And then afternoon, as long as you're not pregnant, this one, three minutes. And then evening, three minutes. And you can also, this protocol, like boom, boom, boom. As long as you're not pregnant, you can also do this for hypothyroid. You can do this for managing any type of a, a hormone, like if you're in menopause or if you're a gentleman struggling with testosterone. So these are really good hormone points. So boom, three minutes in the morning. As long as you're not pregnant, boom, three minutes in the afternoon. And evening, three minutes like this. All right, let's cover coughs and flus, and I'll do my best to, um, okay. Uh, what happens if you're pregnant? Well, it can cause unwanted contractions, so we don't want that. So that's why I tell you not to do the hand points if you're pregnant. Okay, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for the donation. Please heed my warning. You know, if, if I'm, you know, I've treated 100,000 patients. So if I say, please don't do it, please don't do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's do, um, let's, let's go ahead and do the cough and cold and flu. So if, again, with all these things, these are just self-care home tips. Do work with your medical doctor. Please, please work with your medical doctor. So if you're running warm for a couple of minutes, pinch the top of the ear. This can help if you're running warm, pinch the top of the ear. And then also, if you have a cough then or, or sore throat, do work with your doctor. Massage the back of the neck. This is also a great nausea point too. I get a lot of questions for nausea, maybe not tonight, but you can do this. And if you have a cough, this helped me so much. About six weeks ago, two months, I had a terrible cough. You can do this for three minutes. You can do this for three minutes. And then you can do this for three minutes. Let me show you again. Three minutes like this, three minutes like this, and three minutes like this, and three minutes like this. Fantastic. And keep repeating it. I feel like you guys just do it like this and we're like, it doesn't work. No, three minutes, take a little break for an hour or two and do it again three minutes. Keep doing it till your body gets into that rhythm and you'll know when to stop. But if you just do this, how can the body recognize that therapy? It's not going to. All right, fantastic. For back pain, if you're pregnant, you can do this. You can do this. If you're not pregnant, you can do this. Okay, awesome. All right, then let's do sleep real quick. My famous sleep point. Famous, famous, famous sleep point. So what we're going to do for sleep, everybody do this with me. Let's do sleep. We're going to fall asleep here. So what we're going to do is go behind the earlobe and we're going to find a tender spot on the bone. Behind the earlobe, let's find a tender spot on the bone. This is a fantastic point to help you with sleep. It's going to help you fall asleep. It's going to help you fall deeply asleep. 
It's going to prevent you from waking up, prevent you from waking up too early. I have a problem. I wake up too early. I'm like, let's go. And I'm like, oh, I can sleep for another hour. So let's consider doing this acupressure point for sleep. I do this too. That really helps me sleep. So behind the earlobe, find a tender spot and acupress it. Do it laying in bed and you're going to go like this. Great point for helping you fall asleep quickly. Great point for taking away anxiety, worry, and fear so you can fall asleep quickly. This is a great acupressure point. Oh, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the love. This is a great point to help you with falling asleep quickly and also staying asleep in a deep sleep. If you get up in the middle of the night, just go to the bathroom and do this acupressure point till you fall asleep. Don't turn on TikTok. Don't turn on TikTok. Woo, great live. I have no idea how long I've been on here. I think I've been on here, I feel like an hour. Maybe it's less, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the rules of engagement. So if you want your question answered first, just as a courtesy, do consider the yellow star on TikTok in the lower left-hand corner. It's the subscriber subscription. You get a banner that says Accu with the star. That's the subscription. All the money goes towards that free clinic. And also, if you're super on YouTube, and then I will prioritize both of those, but I will do my best to answer all questions. And don't forget, YouTube, thank you so much. We're at 10,000 subscribers, and we have a video that's hitting about 50,000 views, so I really appreciate all your support. That's like chump change on TikTok, but that's a big deal on YouTube. If you're a man or have a man in your life, Lots of great information. Women, there's a, actually a 30 day free course for regulating a cycle that's really good on YouTube. And then Instagram, please help us rebuild the Insta. I miss you all Insta, I got hacked. I'm trying to rebuild it. And then TikTok, course coming out as soon as they let me publish on weight loss and fertility. All the proceeds go towards that free clinic. And I did the course specifically for fundraising so I can establish that free clinic in the Washington DC area. Fantastic. All right, here we go. What are your questions? And again, subscribers and supers get top priority. What are your questions? Now no one asks the question. <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right, what are your questions? And again, subscribers and supers get top priority. Okay, the scalp pain. I've seen that question. Loose mucus. Okay, let me cramps. Okay. Uh, she, she can't answer pink grape. What's the question? Oh, is, if it's on psoriasis, I can't answer it. Diverculitis. I did answer the question. I'll answer it again. Knee pain. I did answer it. I'll answer it again. Weight loss. You're going to kill me, but I will do my ans I will do my best to answer it. You should check out the lives. So the lives on YouTube, they have all the, a bunch of stuff on weight loss. Okay. So upper arm pain. Okay. All right. Um, swelling ankle. Okay. Hand numbness. And then I see some flags going up on Insta. I will check Instagram in a second. Okay. Bone on bone. I, I need to know the location of the bone on bone. Okay. Headaches and blood pressure. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let me check. Let me check uh, YouTube real quick. Pam, I hope you're doing okay. All right. So again, subscribers and also supers, final call for you. Subscribers and supers, final call for you. All right. So for tendonitis, um, you just need to ice the area and do work with a physical therapist. So ice and physical therapy. So for knee pain, you can actually massage the elbow. You can massage the elbow and do each elbow for a minimum of three minutes. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for the donation. So knees represent the elbows. So massage the knees three minutes at a time. For diverticulitis, this is your best acupressure point. If you're pregnant, you can do this. You can do this if you're pregnant. And remember, I'm not shortchanging you if you're pregnant. Remember the points like this, the points like this, the points like this, and the point, it can help you. So if you're pregnant, stick to this. And then if you're not pregnant, you can do this for diverticulitis. Okay, for cramping, 
You can do cinnamon tea and you can also do this one. Cinnamon tea and you can do this one. For mucus, um, you can in the shower do this for three minutes. In the shower, do this for three minutes. In the shower, you can do this for three minutes. For bloating, you can, as long as you're not pregnant, you can do pineapple juice in the morning, bloating, pineapple juice in the morning, as long as you're not pregnant. And as long as you're not pregnant, you can do this. As long as you're not pregnant, you can do this. Also for scalp pain, um, you can try massaging the scalp like this. Uh, you can try massaging like, like the scalp like this, and that can help. And then also for somebody's asking on Instagram, how long do you do the question, do the points? You do them for a minimum of three minutes. Take a, maybe a 20 minute break or an hour break and do it another three minutes. And if you can't do that, three minutes in the morning, three minutes in the afternoon and three minutes in the evening. So do your very best to get, stay on top of doing three minutes at a time. Three minutes, take a little break. Three minutes, take a little break. And that break can be a couple of hours, 20 minutes. You'll know how frequent and you'll know how it's helping you and you'll know when to stop. Okay, so upper arm pain, you can consider doing this for the upper arm pain. You can do this for the upper arm pain. We did cover knee pain. Again, you gotta massage the elbows for the knees. In Chinese medicine, the knees represent the elbows. The knees represent the elbows. Okay, also swollen ankles, as long as you're not pregnant, you massage the wrist for the ankles. As long as you're not pregnant, you massage the wrist for the ankles. And again, three minutes at a time. So three minutes, take a little break, 10, 20 minutes or a couple of hours, and then keep doing it, keep doing it. You'll know when to stop. Okay, hand numbness, and that's a tough one. You can try acupressing the top of the head. That also has a mirror image that goes out to the arm. So you can do this, you can do this. Okay, also for headaches, um, you can do this. Don't forget, this is a great point for headaches. It can help you with all sorts of headaches. So this is a great point for headaches. Blood pressure, rim of the ear. Rim of the ear is fantastic. And cinnamon tea, cinnamon tea can help you. So also for sciatica, you can do this if you're pregnant. You can do this if you're pregnant. And if you're not pregnant, you can do this or you can do this. For ringing in the ear, as long as you're not pregnant, you can do this. As long as you're not pregnant, you can do this for ringing in the ear. Also for ringing in the ear, you can also do your best to avoid salt, sugar, best as you can, dairy, alcohol, and drink turmeric tea. That can really help. I've seen clients do really, really well with turmeric tea. Okay, also people are asking about thinning hair as well as glowing face. So what I do for my face that has really helped is, um, no, low and high blood pressure is not the same. Good question, Yvette, of Viviana. Viviana, that's a great, damn, you should be an acupuncturist. That's a great question. L low and high blood pressure is not the same. What I've been showing you is all for high, high blood pressure. So what I've been showing you is high blood pressure. For nausea for a pregnant lady, just the back of the neck. Back of the neck. Don't massage the shoulders. Don't massage the shoulders. That can cause unwanted contraction. So don't massage the shoulders. Just the back of the neck. Back of the neck. Okay, for... We did do a video. If you go a few videos back, I do talk. And also YouTube has a lot of stuff for beard and also hair for men's health. So do consider that. And so if you are struggling with the bald spot, you can do two things. Wherever the bald spot is, every night for a few minutes, you can use, this is called a derm roller. You can find it in the fourth link in the bio. The new one is white. I've had this forever. You can clean it just with rubbing alcohol. And then so... If you have a bald spot, you just acupress that bald spot for a few minutes before you go to bed. And to prevent future hair loss, stress is a big factor. So you can generally acupress do 20, and you can also acupress the side of the head. And then one thing I also did um, that helped me, and when I had my bald spot, is if you go to YouTube, I show you how to prepare rosemary water. You basically take rosemary, Put it in an eight ounce glass of water. Not, so you take rosemary, 
it's like a dollar from the grocery store. You put it in a pot of boiling water, let the water turn brown, let it cool, drain out the rosemary, put it in a spray bottle. Then I sprayed the bald spot and did this on the bald spot. And about four to six weeks, it went away. And then for smooth skin, you know, the derm roller is also fantastic. You know what I do? I am a little bit darker skinned. What I do is I exfoliate every day, just a little bit, and I use the derm roller. So that helps me in the best way possible. So I would say that. Okay, great live tonight. Wow, we were on here over an hour. So here, um, you guys, last call for subscribers and last call for supers. Last call for subscribers and last call for supers. I don't know what that question is, Dodo. I'm not quite sure what that question is. So last call for supers and last call for subscribers. You guys, I just want to say thank you so much for the support from my mom. Um, she's been in the hospital for a month. She comes home to nursing care tomorrow. I think she'll be there for a month and then hopefully we can bring her home one thing at a time. But thank you so much. And please excuse me if I've been a little bit inconsistent with the lives, I really appreciate your support. Also, if you're a man or have a man in your life, check out YouTube, a lot of great men's health and thank you for your support. We hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and we have a video that's going viral at 50,000. Um, so really good. And follow us on Instagram, really great men and women's health on Instagram. And then also all our proceeds go towards a free clinic in the Washington DC area. I am fundraising. So all the subscriptions, all the donations, all the view time, all the times you purchase, my courses and so forth goes towards that free clinic. We have a course on TikTok that is coming out as soon as they publish. I'm hoping it's this week, if not next week. As soon as that course comes out on TikTok, there's one on weight loss and one on fertility. All the proceeds from that go towards the free clinic. So really, really good. And thank you for the support. All right. The thyroid person keeps asking about thyroid. <laughs> so in the morning, you do this. And then as long as you're not pregnant in the afternoon, you do this. And then in the evening, you do this. Okay, fantastic, you guys. Have a great Wednesday. I should be on here tomorrow night. It's not my scheduled time, but I, I will do my best to be on here. And I'll definitely be on here on Thursday night. And I'll try to hop on on Friday. Try to get back into a rhythm now that my mom is more stable. All right. Love you all so much. Have a great night. Sleep well. Do the acupressure. And I'm going to stay on just for a minute on Instagram and also on uh, YouTube and answer some questions. Love you. Love you all. Okay. Let me check on, um, let me check what the questions are. Okay, actually all the questions can, all the questions in the chat, as long as you're not pregnant, this can take care of all of it. Do it three minutes throughout the day. Three minutes, take a break, three minutes, take a break, and three minutes, take a break, and this can answer all the questions. I had to pop my knees. Just do the elbow points, dear, and work with your doctor. Elbow points, elbows represent the knees. Massage the elbows for three minutes at a time. So three minutes, see how the knees do, take a little break, maybe 20 minutes or a couple hours and keep doing it. You'll know when you feel better. Elbows for knees, three minutes at a time, take a little break, 20 minutes to an hour, and then keep doing the knees represent the elbows and work with your doctor. All right, I think it was only Pam that had a question and no supers. All right, thank you guys for following me on YouTube. Really appreciate the support and check out the videos. We do one a day. We might <laughs> switch it up, but one a day on YouTube. All right, talk to you soon. Love you all.